Welcome to Chris's Storytelling Corner. My name is Christopher Moldong and I am an author. Today I will read pages 1 to 4 of my short story, The Orthodox Clash. Next week I will read pages 5 to 7 and have a manga review for Nagima volumes 33 to 35. So here is the synopsis for the Orthodox Clash. Corporate America meets boxing in the Orthodox Clash. Bob Commons, an everyday office worker, trains in boxing and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. When his boss, Brick Crookshark, begins to train boxing at the same gym, events lead to them fighting each other in an amateur boxing match. You can check out my author's website at www.chrismaldon.com. You can buy my first novel, a fantasy adventure called The Mustard Prince in the Condiment Kingdom, for $4.99. Also, I have consolidated the horror collection, the fantasy fable collection, and three other short stories into one collection. So for $2.99, you can buy my short story collection, a collection of 10 short stories and a horror fantasy and realistic fiction genres. Uh, this story, The Orthodox Clash, is in this uh, in that collection. Uh, check out my Twitter page and author's Facebook page. Links to all these will be provided on the description. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment to this channel if you're on YouTube, or follow, share, and comment on this channel if you're listening to this on SoundCloud. If you're listening to this on iTunes or Stitcher, please rate, review, and share this channel. So, uh, let's uh, begin the Orthodox Clash. Sweat and stink fill up the ring as two combatants spar for three minutes. They attack lightly at first, but once a clean punch lands, the subsequent punches become more forceful. Jabs land to find range for follow-up power strikes, while feet and head move quickly to avoid incoming blows. The coach yells, TIME, once the three minutes are up and the two fighting in the ring becomes friends uh, outside of it. You landed a good uppercut, Bob. I didn't see it coming, and all of a sudden I'm seeing stars, Bob's sparring partner says. I've been working on that for a while. My inside game's not that good, so I decided to just say screw it and try for the inside even if I get hit on the way. Bob Commons wakes up, eats breakfast, and drives to work every weekday morning so that he can greet his cubicle and computer. Working for Dividends, Investments, and Annuity, a Fortune 500 company, he walks through the doors along with his co-workers that drag their feet to their desk. Amongst the rows of cubicles that represent different departments, his boss, Brick Crookshark, sits in his cozy corner office looking down upon the city from his 8th story view. Sitting behind a screen entering data, Bob thinks about the adjustments that he can make the next time that he spars. Sometimes his hands will curl up into fists, and he'll put them to his cheeks while moving his head. He'll throw an occasional punch, realize what he's doing, look around, and go back to work. What's going on here? Someone thinks that this is the UFC or something? A co-worker named Fred asks. Just doing work. Gotta train my hands and fingers for typing, you know. Fred looks around and enters the cubicle. You hear about Brick? He's been bragging about having his first amateur boxing fight next month. Fred says quietly enough so that no one can hear him. Yeah, I heard some of the IT guys talking about it at the water cooler. I know a couple guys who fought, and it's pretty hard. I hope he knows what he's getting into. What are we talking about here? Brick says so loudly that the whole floor probably heard him. Brick walks into Bob's cubicle with a swagger and grin. He adjusts the collar to his white Calvin Klein button-up shirt as Fred leaves with an acknowledging nod. Hey Bob, you ever been to Rex MMA and Fitness? I could have sworn that I saw you there. Yeah, I try to get some training in whenever I can after work. Been going there for a while now. Do you even lift, bro? Brick jokes in a terrible attempt at a New Jersey accent. No, seriously. Do you lift weights? I'm just trying not to get a beer gut. So boxing and jiu-jitsu training is uh, all I do for exercise. You know, I do some lifting every now and then. 
He starts to shrug his shoulders and flex a little. I'm not going to lie, but I still have to impress the ladies. Probably why my wife divorced me. Uh, yeah, I hear you. After a brief awkward silence, Bob says, Well, I better get back to work. Brick gets into boss mode and speaks seriously. Yeah, make sure to get that email to HR. Also, we need to get up to date with Marion Accounting about those files that are going to recall. Got it. Brick leaves the cubicle and heads to the elevator. With it being lunchtime, his co-workers slowly get up, stretch, and yawn while deciding where to eat. Some go to the cafeteria or drive to somewhere better while others eat lunch in their cubicle. A few employees will nap in their cars with the windows open and the ra radio playing. Bob decides to eat at the cafeteria where the menu is overpriced and the subpar food can be made at home. He sits by himself while a group of young Asian women in the neighboring table giggles and checks their cell phones every few seconds. And on another nearby table, a group of men in buttoned-up shirts consisting mainly of Indians and Asians talk about stocks and real estate. None of the executives congregate with the rank and file in the cafeteria. Brick uses a portion of his lunch time to take a jog. A few others gather at a nearby park as part of the company soccer team, which is the only time where the regular employees are on equal footing with the executives. After lunch, everyone slogs their way back to their desk. Some are noticeably drowsy while others are ready to go back to work. Brick, however, is at a meeting. Rex MMA and Fitness is right off the freeway as Bob heads home. Despite being wary from the workday, he always regrets skipping class. He'll go three times a week when he has the energy, or two times a week when he feels drained. Doing boxing and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu afterwards, he has gained the general respect of the regulars, and the coach appreciates his work ethic as well. Tyrone Rex, the owner of the gym, still fights in MMA at least twice a year, and sometimes three times. He peaked as a respected journeyman who can still test up and coming MMA fighters, but unable to defeat anyone with a good deal of skill. Being in his mid-30s, he knows that his time in MMA competition is short. He decided to open a gym recently to transition to the next phase of his, of his MMA journey as a coach. Bob, being in his early 30s and clearly not particularly athletic, went to his gym one day to try out some classes for fitness. The first time that Bob sparred in boxing, he was completely overwhelmed by the more experienced members. In Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, he constantly ended up in bad positions and was submitted constantly. Not really thinking much of Bob, Tyrone was surprised to see him come back the next day ready to learn and quite frankly get beat up again. Bob would come back consistently, and he eventually became technically capable on a rudimentary level in both boxing and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. After a while, Tyrone would use him to help with demonstrating the drills. After a tough class where half of it consisted of drilling, and the last half was all sparring, Bob asked Tyrone, Do you know someone named Brick Crookshark that trains here? He might go at a different time or day. Yeah, I know that guy. He's real rich and always showing off his money. He goes to the bad classes every once in a while. Most of the time, he actually pays me to go to his house to coach him. Brother's got a freaking boxing ring in his basement. Well, he's my boss. Is he any good? That's all for today. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment to this channel if you're on YouTube. Or follow, share, and comment on this channel if you're listening to this on SoundCloud. If you're listening to this on iTunes or Stitcher, please rate, review, and share this channel. Thank you for listening to these readings. Next week, I will read pages 5 to 7 of The Orthodox Clash, and also have a manga review for Nagima volumes 33 to 35. Thank you, and until next time.